Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide mixed numbers and fractions. We have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. One problem where we have a mixed number divided by a fraction, and then another problem where we have a fraction divided by a mixed number. Now the steps that we're going to use to solve these are at the top of your screen. So let's jump into number one here, where we have four and three fifths divided by one fourth. So the first thing we want to do with these problems is rewrite them and um, changing any mixed numbers to improper fractions. So let's rewrite with the mixed number as an improper fraction. And we do that by starting at the bottom here and working our way up. So let's multiply and then add. So five times four is 20 plus three is 23. That's our numerator. We keep our denominator of five the same. Divided by, and we will keep one fourth as is. It's already in fractional form. So we converted that mixed number to an improper fraction. That way we have a top and a bottom, a numerator and a denominator. And we can proceed through the other steps. So the next step, KSF. So those are the steps of dividing fractions. Keep, switch, flip. So we always keep our first fraction. We're going to rewrite the problem again with these steps. So keep, switch to multiplication, so the opposite of division. And since we switched to multiplication, the opposite, we need to flip the second fraction. So flip, the four is going to be the numerator and the one is going to be the denominator. Our next step, we multiply straight across. So we can look to see if there are any cancellation opportunities. Uh, and you can think of cancellation as simplifying the problem before multiplying. In the case of number one, we need to look at our numerators, 23 and four, and our denominators, five and one, and see if there are any common factors um, between them. And the only common factor is one, so we cannot use cancellation here. So we are ready to multiply straight across. So 23 times four is going to give us 92. And five times one is five. So that is our final answer, but we don't wanna leave it um, as an improper fraction. Let's convert it back to a mixed number. And we do that by looking at our numerator 92 and dividing it by five. So we need to do 92 divided by five. How many whole groups of five out of 92? And it would be okay to come over to the side and write out that problem. So nine divided by five is one. One times five is five. Subtract, we get four. Bring down our two. So 42 divided by five is eight. Eight times five. 40, subtract, we get a remainder of two. So 18 whole groups of five out of 92. That's going to be our whole number portion of the mixed number. Now we had a remainder of two here. So that's our numerator for the fractional part of the mixed number. Now we keep our denominator of five the same. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number, but two-fifths is simplified, so we are done here. 18 and two-fifths. On to number two, where we have a fraction divided by a mixed number. Same steps, though. So we rewrite the problem with any mixed numbers converted to improper fractions. So we'll keep four-ninths the same here, divided by... Start at the bottom, work your way up, multiply and add. So six times two is 12, plus five is 17. Keep the denominator of six the same. So now we're all set up and we can go through our dividing fractions steps. Keep, switch, flip. Always keep the first fraction. Switch to multiplication and flip. So we have six over 17 there.
Now we're ready to multiply straight across to get our final answer, but we can always check to see if we can use any cancellation here to simplify before multiplying straight across. So look for common factors between your numerators and denominators. And in the case of number two, we can use cancellation because six and nine have a common factor of three. So let's divide six and nine by three. Nine divided by three is three. Six divided by three is two. Four and 17 do not have any common factors other than one, so we cannot use cancellation with those numbers. So we are ready to multiply straight across. Four times two is eight. Three times 17 is 51. Look to see if we can simplify eight over 51. The only common factor between eight and 51 is one. So we are in simplest form and we are done there. Now I do wanna show you what this problem would look like without cancellation because um, if you do not use cancellation, you'll still get to the correct answer. It's just going to take a little more simplifying at the end. So let me rewrite the problem. We had four ninths times six seventeenths there. So we are ready to multiply straight across. Four times six is 24. And then we would need to do nine times 17, um, which I'm not sure off the top of my head, which is okay. We can come to the side and write that out. Nine times seven, 63. Nine times one is nine plus six is 15. So we get to an answer of 153. So 24 over 153. So that is our final answer, but we are able to simplify that fraction. 24 and 153, uh, they have a common factor of three, a greatest common factor of three. So divide them both by three here. And we do end up with eight over 51. So we got the same answer. It just took a little more simplifying at the end. Okay, so there you have it. There's how you divide mixed numbers and fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.